Hi guys, Kitty here again with another video. Um, Stitches has apparently come to join me. He's probably quite hard to see because he's totally black, but you gonna come and say hello? Hey? Well, that means like, what? Stitch and Patch and Ashen have all been in a video now. It's just Sinbad making himself scarce still. Um, I'm gonna do the accent challenge today. Um, I did previously film the accent challenge and tried to upload it. It vanished into the other of uh, the internet as things do. Hey Ashen. He's also now wandering around, sorry. Um, <laughs> and I accidentally deleted it off my phone, so I thought I'd do it again. Um, I find the accent challenge is pretty interesting because my accent is uh, a bit unusual. I'm a Grimsby girl, born and raised, um, but I spent a few years living in Norwich. Um, and then my fella, Stu, um, is, he's from Hertfordshire, but he's got the kind of Cockney boy accent. What are you doing, Stitches? What are you doing? What are you doing? You just want to be in the video. He's intrigued by the box that my uh, little tripod thing is standing on. Come over here and come out of the way, mate, because your butt doesn't need to be in the video. <laughs> what are you doing? You coming down here? You can come and sit on me if you want to. Sorry, but I can't. I can't not fuss him. And right now, I don't know how to edit videos, so come over here. That's it. Good boy. That's sorry about the butt there. Let's uh. Can you hear him purring? That's, you're like a little train you are. Right, accent challenge. <laughs> so I've got my laptop down here. Um, I'm gonna fuss stitch and try and do the accent challenge. So the first thing is a list of words that apparently we all say in different ways. So um, this is the list of words. Stitches, little mate. What are you doing, Bubby? What are you doing? <laughs> Come here. Come here and have a baby snuggle. And then you can be in the video, but in like a way that nobody minds. How about that? Okay, so. Aunt, roof, root, wash, oil, theatre, iron, salmon, caramel, fire, water, shore, data, ruin, crayon, New Orleans, pecan, both, again, probably, spitting image, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, syrup, pyjamas, quart, naturally, aluminium and envelope. They are my words. Um, stitches will sit like this for hours now probably so it's probably going to stay like this for the rest of the video. You're a happy little man aren't you? <laughs> um, so the questions. What is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? I think that's called teeping. I'm pretty sure American TV teaches me that that was called teeping. It's not something that we really do over here. Um, so I don't know. What is the bug called that when you touch it, it curls into a ball? I think that's a woodlouse. I'm pretty sure that's a woodlouse. I don't really know of any other bugs that do anything like that. So I'm gonna guess that a woodlouse probably does that when you poke it. Um, what is a bubbly carbonated drink called? Uh, fizzy drink uh, or pop or soda at a push, but probably fizzy drink. Uh, what do you call gym shoes? Trainers, unless they're Converse's and then they're sneakers, otherwise they are trainers. What do you say to address a group of people? I, I call everyone uh, guys, mate, babes, lovelies. Hey, you guys. I call everyone pet names all of the time. Um, lovelies is probably the one I don't. I'm not bothered about gender. You will be guys or lovelies, more than likely. So I was on that one. Um, what do you call the kind of spider that's an oval-shaped body and extremely long legs? I think it means a daddy long legs, like the little ones that kind of jump, hop about a little bit and fly, but I think they mean a daddy long legs. Um, maybe. Do you think it's a daddy long legs? You like to eat daddy long legs, don't you? You won't catch birds or anything, but he'll he'll eat a daddy long legs. Um, what do you call my grandparents? Um, on my dad's side, they are grandma and granddad, and on my mum's side, uh, nanny and G. Um, uh, Welsh on my mum's side, um, so nanny is quite a typical sort of Welsh term um, and then G um, he wanted to be called Grandpops um, and he thought he'd be cool and have it as GP um, but apparently I could never be bothered to say GP when I was a little kid uh, so it was G first grandkid and also I named everyone um, <laughs> I don't have any kids so I'm not having any kids but I have stepkids um, they call my mum and dad their great auntie and great uncle um, but the fur babies they <laughs> I call my mum nanny Cheryl for them and my dad Bampy Again, Welsh word, but yeah, Bampy and 
nanny for my grandparents for the animals because <laughs> it's the closest thing to grandchildren they get in so it's mum what are you doing you're adorable um which you call the wheeled contraption and which you carry groceries at the supermarket shopping trolley um what do you call it when the rain falls when the sun is shining uh what well, makes a rainbow um otherwise i'd just call it english weather I don't really know what that one's implying, but I think, oh, uh, yes, a rainbow. <laughs> um, what is the thing you to change the TV channel with? I call it loads of different things. When I was a kid, we always called it a zapper. Um, I don't think many people call it a zapper, but that's what me and my brother always called it. Um, if not, remote. Um, but zapper. I've always called it a zapper. I don't really know anyone else that does, though. Do we? Um, yeah, so hope you enjoyed my accent challenge. Sorry that the light kept changing a bit. There's a lot of uh, all black creatures hiding in this video, so I kind of mess with my light in a little bit. So me and Stitches are going to go and say bye now before this turns into another 10 minute ramble of me filming. Um, he's probably going to stay here for a little while, so I might have to stop filming today. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, please comment, like and subscribe. If there are any other tagged videos that you would like to see me do, let me know in the comments below. Um, my flower crown is from Crown and Glory. Um, and this is Stitches, full name, Lord Stitch the Third of the House of Chublington. All of my animals have very posh full names because uh, you know, they deserve a full name, don't they? Don't they? Your baby? Your baby? I'm going over there now. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye!